Yo, what's going on guys? It's Zebrev. Welcome to No Money Spent Episode 4. We've been able to play a little bit since the last No Money Spent episode and we've made some changes around the squad, so we'll be going over that in the beginning. But overall, we've made a lot of team affinity progress and we're starting to tailor our team a bit for when we start playing online, starting to dive into ranked seasons. I have played just a little bit off camera and about a two hour stream that didn't really have any major highlights and this is where we ended up with team affinity progress. We've come a long way. Basically, we're only hurting for the AL East and I think I'm just gonna abandon it for now. Now we'll see what happens but there's about 11 days left till the ranked and br turnover and i want to get both of those programs done if possible so we're going to be spending a lot of time online and as you can see we finally did jump to the dark side and switch to the byron buxton captain again because we're going to be playing online quite a bit here in the near future i spent a little bit of stubs around 6,000 stubs on some players that haven't been grinded for so far the first one is this willie castro from the br program he goes on the buxton boost and plays shortstop i'm sure you all have seen this card every Everywhere. This card was about 4,800 stubs for us, and we'll get another one when we start doing the BR program, but I just wanted to have him on the team ASAP. We also have Supercharged Tyler O'Neill Live Series. This card only cost me about 250 stubs. Supercharge is running out in a day, but this is an interesting one because he did just also get a Hyper Series card that's pretty cheap. It's around 14k right now, so I might actually pick that up after this Supercharge is over. I've always loved Tyler O'Neill cards. He always plays super well for me. He's great on this team, and he's also part of the AL East which is where we're struggling the most with Team Affinity, so that could help. And here's where the rotation's at. We did pick up Jack Flaherty from NL Central Team Affinity. We're just gonna try to eat some innings with him to get some progress to get us closer to the end of that division. Probably gonna replace this card as soon as I can. And then we also did go ahead and buy Live Series Ronel Blanco, who is supercharged for the next five days, throwing the first no-hitter of the season. This card has a decent pitch mix, and he's got 108 hits per nine with the supercharge. So for 900 stubs, five days of supercharge, I thought that was worth it. The bullpen is getting a lot better as well. We added Classe. We also went ahead and bought Jose Alvarado. This is one of the best bang for your buck cards in the game right now in my opinion. I paid his quick sell value which was 900 stubs. You can see he's playing up on inside edge pretty much all the time. Right now his hits per nine is at 93 but he also has 125 pitching clutch so that PCI for your opponent is going to be as small as possible with runners in scoring position. Also sinker cutter four seam. Might seem a little scary with the three pitch mix but the speed differential between the sinker and cutter and also the timing window differential and also the fact that his delivery is pretty deceptive. I think this is a really solid card to have in your bullpen. You probably shouldn't be running more than four lefties in your bullpen so depending on your situation you may not need this card but it is a great budget option and we're going to be rocking with them. We're also going to dive right into the egg hunt in this episode so we are going to add a left-handed reliever to this bullpen so the bullpen's looking really strong pretty happy with where the team's at right now and let's dive into some of these eggs so in this egg hunt program there's 10 mystery eggs scattered all around the game that you have to find along the way you get 10 points for each and really the prize of this program right off the bat and someone you need to get if you're no money spent is this 89 Aaron Bummer card this is an extremely good left-handed reliever the pitch mix is awesome I've always loved Aaron Bummer cards and the per nines are pretty good too it also only requires you to get three eggs to get to this card, so definitely worth it. We'll also be shooting for it, Jamer Candelario and eventually Christian Yelich as well, but really want to get Aaron Bummer as soon as possible and shore up that bullpen. I am going to leave a link in the description to all of the eggs confirmed so you know exactly what you're working through when you're trying to do this program. If you haven't done it already, I'm a little bit behind. Or you can just watch me as I work through it. Okay, the first egg we're going to get is we're going to back out to the main menu. We're going to go down and find moments from the main menu, and here is where the moments egg is hidden it's under other programs and then egg hunt so this is complete five moments and get an egg basically shouldn't take us too much time and the Aaron Bummer moment is complete we struck out the side next is tally four total bases with Willie McCovey that one is crushed into the alley and it's still gonna leave Willie McCovey moment done next is strike out five batters with John Smoltz without giving up a run and there is strikeout number five. Next is tally an extra base hit with Jamer Candelario. This card actually seems pretty nasty on paper. I'll try to get some reps with them, I think, online. That's in the gap. That is for sure going to be a double. This moment's going to be over. It's going to score two for this fake moments team, too. I bet they're stoked. One more moment to go, and we get our first egg. Final moment, two hits and an extra base hit with Yelich. That's crushing the gap. That's going to be an extra base hit. We need one more hit to finish this moment out. And that's a curveball right down the middle, which is in the other gap. 
GG's to this moment. GG's to all five moments. We got our first egg and 10 stars in the program. There it is. The moments egg acquired and also a headliners pack. The next easy egg we're going to go for is in the starter showdown. It is actually in the second moment of the starter showdown. So we're going to draft our team, complete two moments, and then we'll get another egg. We strike out Cattell Marte to end the second moment, and the second egg is ours. There is the starter showdown egg. We need one more for Aaron Bummer. That's how quick it is to get Aaron Bummer. It's definitely a must-do. The third egg we're going to go get, and the one that's going to get us that top-tier lefty reliever Aaron Bummer, we're going to go into the egg hunt conquest, and we're going to go straight down to the Orioles stronghold. You get the egg by beating the Orioles on this map, so we're just going to go play that one game. You can finish out the rest of the map if you want. There's some show packs scattered around but I don't think I'm gonna do it. So we went straight down to the Orioles. We got there with five fans left. So when we play the stronghold, it's gonna be on all-star. So not too bad. This is just play three innings and get an egg. The Orioles go down nine to one and that is gonna get us our third egg and Aaron Bummer from the program. Byron Buxton parallel two already as well. There's 183,000 of these already. Tons of team affinity progress. AL Central, NL West getting new packs, some jelly beans packs. And there is the conquest egg. Let's go get our relief pitch into the egg hunt program now exchanging the moments egg for 10 stars the starter showdown egg for 10 stars and the conquest egg for 10 stars gets us to 30 and gets us this 89 Aaron bummer heading back to the squad we're gonna replace our silver at Taylor Rogers now with an 89 overall lefty the bullpen is looking super solid aside from Joel Payams. So we also have two 89 overall left-handed relievers which is huge we are gonna keep trucking along get as many eggs as we can can try to get as far as we can in this program the next part is going to be another three inning game the next egg is win a mini seasons game on all-star or higher difficulty so we're going to go into classics mode and start up a mini season we are into the classic mini seasons we're going to go to this first game play game and do it on all-star as long as we win one mini seasons game on all-star we'll get the next egg the lemurs go down eight nothing and that is going to do it for the mini seasons egg it's just win one game on all-star or higher so that's going to be our fourth egg we also got brandon webb to parallel one and there is the mini seasons egg that fourth egg is gonna get us to this 90 overall willie mccovey doesn't really have a spot on our team at the moment with the boost that we're running but honestly this is a pretty good card as a dh or an offensive first baseman we'll go ahead and redeem the mini seasons egg which brings us to 40 stars and that willie mccovey and 4,000 xp the next eggs we're gonna go after we're gonna try to get two of them there is an egg for winning a nine inning flavor cpu game against one of the bird teams so we're gonna do that Difficulty doesn't matter for this one, so we're just going to play the Orioles on Rookie. We're going to make sure we're the home team, and we're actually going to pick Oracle Park. Picking the Giants Stadium for this one because another egg is to hit a triple, so we're going to try to fiend on that triples alley in right center field, and if we can just get one triple, that's going to be another egg. And we're also going to be pitching with Jack Flaherty and trying to go the distance nine innings. Since we have to play the whole nine inning game anyway, we might as well knock out one of those nine inning pitch team affinity missions. So just pitching nine innings with Jack Flaherty here is going to get us another 10,000 thousand ta towards the nl central a lot of double dipping potential going on with this egg hunt too which is really nice that is a perfectly placed hit by james wood 93 speed into triples alley this should be an easy stand-up triple and that's gonna get us another egg hit a triple get an egg we're gonna get two eggs from this one that's it for the nine inning flavor cpu game we went 13 to 2 with the triple we hit and the Flavor CPU game against a bird team that we just won. We should be getting two eggs here. We also got Jack Flaherty, Paradol, one. We got Bruce Suter from the XP path, too, chugging along there. And tons of packs as well. But you can see the two eggs, the bird egg and the triple egg. Back to the egg hunt program and redeeming these two eggs is going to get us to 60 points in the program. Triple egg goes through and we are at 60 stars and John Smoltz. I don't envision this Smoltz card making our rotation, but who knows? You still need five starters. It is a 90 overall. We'll see where we're at. Overall, I don't think this is that good of a card, though. I think we'll probably end up with five starters that are a bit better. With that, though, we are at 60 stars. Stars doing all offline stuff got all the way to smolt 
minutes. The eggs we have left, we're gonna have to go online, but we only need one more to get to Jamer Candelario, and I really want this Candelario card. This card looks disgustingly good. We do currently have Justin Turner starting at third base, but with where we're at with the NOS team affinity, we're at about 80%, and the fact that I wanna use Candelario, and the fact that third base is already one of our non-captain spots in the lineup, we're just gonna throw Candelario in there, and he's gonna be a staple of our lineup as we go online. Chug along in team affinity like we have been. We have two unopened pack for the NL Central. We're gonna go with Dozier and Abreu for those. At this point though, with the Buxton boost running it, and our lineup pretty much set. We're just taking cards that we don't have. For the NL Central, we're actually gonna take Burnett since the multiplayer mission for innings pitch is only three innings. Maybe we can sneak some innings and events with Burnett or maybe even start him in the lower ratings and just keep chugging through Team Affinity. And for the NL West, we're gonna take Brandon Crawford, but it doesn't really matter. Now let's talk about the four eggs that are remaining that we haven't done. One of them is steal a base in ranked season. So once we get into ranked, we're gonna try to steal a base whenever we can, but we're putting that one off for later. Another one is get on base with gold wade boggs in battle royale we are going to be doing the battle royale program later as well so we'll be putting off this egg right now so that leaves us with two eggs one of them is get 15 jelly beans from show packs which we're about to open about 20 packs so we'll see where we're at if we have enough jelly beans then we can just knock this egg out right away if not we'll want to go to egg eight which is for events it is tally two doubles i'm pretty sure i want to grind this event to 20 wins anyway just because this brian abreu looks like a decent righty specialist out of the bullpen we could could use another righty he's also sellable so it's a bit of a stub investment but it just really depends on how much time we have with about a week and a half left before the ranked seasons and battle royale programs turn over let's open these packs though we have 22 show packs three ball and packs three millionaire packs and a headliners pack we did actually pull our first diamond last stream which was not in the footage it was pete alonzo so about the worst diamond you can pull but at least we got one also the millionaire voucher has been discovered now so i feel a lot more comfortable opening these millionaire packs so let's Let's just knock out three of them there two show packs and a try again also open this headliners pack and it gave us headliners three so 24 show packs three ballins one headliners pack three we've only pulled one diamond the entire time on no money spent so far maybe our luck will turn around and maybe we'll get 15 jelly beans and we have a diamond pull i did the auto flip and it stopped me at the diamond what are we gonna pull here it's purple lights so it's a low diamond unfortunately but that's a pretty good low diamond. 88 Fernando Tatis Jr. I love Tatis cards. This is actually an amazing pull. I think this card is super underrated right now. He doesn't fit on any theme team, but he plays a ton of positions. The defense and speed is incredible. It also seems like he's always playing up on inside edge against righties, which really balances out the hitting stats. And I feel like he's got one of the best swings in the game. So this is a great pull. We're gonna have to try to figure out where to put him on the field. There's a ton of great outfielders with the Bucks boost so we might try to fit this guy in the infield somewhere really really good diamond pull though i will take it the card's worth about 17k if we wanted to sell two but i don't think we will and three packs later we got another diamond pull let's let it rip on this one it is another purple diamond but that doesn't necessarily mean bad as we saw last time Another 88 overall, Zach Wheeler. This one's a bit of a different story for us, I think. Our starting pitching is just better than this Wheeler card right now, and we aren't really close to the Live Series collection by any means, so I think this is gonna be an easy sell for us. It's gonna be about 8,000 stubs. I will take that. We just pulled another diamond. This is like six packs later. This is our third diamond. We only had 24 packs to open in the first place. This one is blue lights. This is a good diamond. What are we getting? Freddie Freeman, 90 overall. The packs are so hot. This is a gigantic pull. This card is selling for about 50,000 stubs. I'm leaning towards sell for this guy because it is a lot of stubs. 50k is a lot for us right now. I don't know. I'll have to think on this one, but man, what pack luck we have in this episode. This is insane. We've gotten about 70,000 stubs worth of diamonds pulled. These are all free packs earned from Team Affinity and programs too. Last show pack, we got our 12th Jelly Bean. So we're a little bit short, but I'm not complaining. That was quite the run. Let's go to the headliners pack now. Pack three, we did not pull anything. We got Chad Green. Three, a ball in his habit packs now. Gold guaranteed, we got Lane Thomas. Two more here. We got Dansby Swanson, and the last one is going to be 
Supercharged Lourdes Guriel Jr. I am so insanely happy with those pulls. I mean, Freddie Freeman especially. I don't know how I can turn down 50,000 stubs right now when we're not close to the Live Series collection and we only have 38,000 stubs total. Again, gonna think on it. I guess let me know what you think I should do down in the comments with that Freddie Freeman card. But we did it up three jelly beans short of the jelly beans egg, which means we should go into events to try to get this Jamer Candelario before the video ends. We'll be earning more packs passively as we do stuff, so we'll eventually get that jelly beans egg we're really close we just didn't quite have enough packs so we are gonna jump into the opening day event we need two doubles in events for an egg and like i said earlier we probably want to get this brian abreu if we have time so let's start playing online playing some events see what we can do i also have multiple team affinity starting pitchers in the rotation so i think what i'm gonna try to do is every event game pitch one inning with one of them and then I'll forfeit entry every time, and that way after three games, I'll knock out three multiplayer Team Affinity missions. Randall down the line. Depending on the 19 speed, this might be one of the two doubles we need. We're gonna push home just to try to get the throw home. Then we'll go back to third, and that's gonna get us a double. We did not score, but I will take it. Buxton the other way on a slider, down and away. That's crush, and we take the lead in the third. Dylan Cruz is also going to leave the yard back to back. And he ends up quitting after that back to back home runs. We did get one double though. We also got more crazy team affinity progress and more packs. You can see our team affinity grind has just been so smooth this year. We're basically done with every division except the AL East, which my face is covering right now. We're at 15%. I think the plan is to eventually get to the first boss pack in the AL East, take Gary Sanchez since he goes on the Buxton team, and then we'll just run him at catcher. Using Gary Sanchez a bunch online should get us a lot of the way through that division by himself we did get another nl central pack we're gonna take joey Votto. although all we have left is Votto and sosa we're also gonna go to the nl west and we are gonna take charlie blackman three more show packs to open we need three more jelly beans we're not gonna get it done with these three packs two more jelly beans to go can we get one no we are two jelly beans short time to go back into events and try to get that last double for this egg buxton the other way he just keeps hitting bombs James Wood to dead center. That ball's demolished. 109 exit velocity. And he dashboarded it. <laughs> That's going to be win number two. We still only hit one double. And we completed the AL Central. That's our third complete TA division. We are going to take the last boss that we haven't taken, which is Pudge Rodriguez. Byron Buxton starting game number three off with a rope up the middle. Dylan Cruz into the gap. If this doesn't leave, it might be a double. It is off the wall. That's going to score Buxton, and it's also our second event double, which means we should get the egg, and Jamer Candelario is going to join the squad. James Wood to the right side, piling it on. I think we can... No, nah, we'll stop. I didn't realize Buxton was in right field. We would have been toast. Supercharged Tyler O'Neill works the four-pitch walk, and the bases are loaded for Justin Turner. Justin Turner unloads the right field, but it looks like it's getting caught. It actually got down. Wow. That is pretty lucky. Buxton didn't make that play. Base is loaded. Still nobody out. And Tamar Johnson into the gap. That's going to score two. We're going to stop at third. Four nothing. Nobody out. Live series Matt McLean's going to bloop one. We're going to score. I meant to send the guy to third, but I'll take it. Grandall to center field. I swung 3-0 just to try to get some Grandall progress, and we were early on a cutter, unfortunately. Manzardo through the left side is going to make it 6-0 in the first. Box in the right field. That looks like it's getting down. We're getting all the doubles this game, I guess. That might bloop, too. <laughs> this is the combination of just pure luck and sometimes good swings to have a nine-run first. James Wood up the middle. That's getting through. When will it end? Tyler O'Neill to left. That's crushed. It is off the wall. Should be a run scoring double to make it double digits. That might stay in. I was underneath it with my PCI. That easily could have left, but we took a bad swing. Run's going to score on the sack fly, though. And that's going to stay in too. But we put up 11 in the top of the first. 
and that's right at McLean. Easy bottom of the first. And I think he dashboarded that, which also means we won't get the inning pitch for Flaherty, which kind of sucks. There it is. Lost connection with opponent. That's going to be our third event win, although we should have the event egg now. There it is. Got three wins in the event before we got there. I will take that back to the egg hunt program. We're going to redeem our event egg, which is going to get us to 70 stars and Jamer Candelario. I cannot wait to use this card. As I said earlier, he's going right on the squad in replacement of Justin Turner, and this squad is looking nasty. I also have the option to replace Manzardo at first base with Turner if I wanted to. Also, when Tyler O'Neill's supercharge expires, we'll have to figure out what we want to do at DH. I really like the idea of Stanton there. This Stanton card is also really good with the Bucks and Booth, so a lot of options for us. But overall, just an insanely productive episode. I am very, very happy with where we're at. The eggs we have left are the Jelly Beans one, which we're really close to. We only need two more. Then we need to steal a base in Ranked, and we need to get on base with Wade Boggs and BR, which are two missions that we'll just do later on the line. We added Candelario to third base. We added Aaron Bummer to our bullpen. This egg hunt program gives you a lot of good stuff as a no money spent player you should definitely do it next episode we are probably going to dive into ranked seasons for the first time the season ends in about 10 days and we've got to climb up from zero rating so it'll be nice to kind of knock some of the early rating games out of the way we'll play a little bit of ranks maybe get to five six hundred rating then i think we'll teeter off work on the br program possibly finish the event as well and then hopefully before the season is over make the climb to world series just an amazing episode all around and who can forget the pack pulls we'll have to figure out somewhere to put fernando Tatis Jr. on this team too. One more thing before I end the episode, don't forget to go to the store and claim your free pack. This is for April Fools. It's actually an 85 overall Tony Tarasco. He's only supercharged for 24 hours, so probably won't have that much time left on it, but it's a free 85 overall that goes in the season collection. Overall, a very beefy, very successful episode four for No Money Spent. I hope you all enjoyed it. Stay tuned for more No Money Spent episodes all the way throughout the year as we try to get everything done that we can. Thank you all for watching. Take care, and we'll see you next time.